The IRB makes the rescue, but heading for shore, it stops. She couldn't see the patient in the IRB, and I was wondering if they had started performing a first aid or CPR on the patient. A lone swimmer has been spotted several hundred metres from shore near the shark nets. Oh, yeah, I see the guy. Nice, man. Mate, thanks for that. Mate, there is a guy so far out. Central to the guys on the beach. Oh, there's a dude. He's in between the yellow marker boy and the shark nets, and he's not swimming real good. A person treading water so far from shore is clearly not a bay swimmer. To be swimming to the shark boy, that's a fair swim for someone who isn't a, a particularly good swimmer. Yeah, I'm going to cause. Yeah, he's got two hands up, mate. Max is in his first year at Bondi. Being that far out, if you're not a strong swimmer, there's no way to get back to shore. He was swimming out in the middle of nowhere. Volunteer lifesavers have an inflatable rescue boat already in the water. Cause the CRI be in the water, so we just send them. Yeah, that'd be great. With time critical, the IRB is directed to the man. I saw the IRB pick up the patient at probably about 100 metres before I got there, but I was still worried about the welfare of the patient, especially being that, that far out to sea, so I decided I would signal the, um, the volunteers down and perform a welfare check on the patient out in the water. The IRB makes the rescue, but heading for shore, it stops. Hey! Hey! So the IRB had stopped moving and I'd sat up my board to have a look at what was going on and I was wondering if they had started performing uh, first aid or CPR on the patient. With the chop in the ocean that day, I actually couldn't see the patient in the IRB. When I saw the patient sit up and I saw he was conscious and breathing, it was a sigh of relief. The IRV has broken down, so the volunteers hand the patient over to Max. 18-year-old Alex is conscious but disoriented. Now, Max faces a half-kilometre paddle back to shore. It remains unclear why Alex was so far out. It was a weird sort of state he was in. He was sort of aware of his surroundings, but at the same time, he was so tired and so confused. After an exhausting one kilometre round trip, Max finally gets Alex back to the beach. When he walked out of the water, you could just see he was exhausted. He didn't look like he was in a good way. Just come up here and sit down with us. I'm pretty concerned, eh? Hey? Like, he just seemed very confused and out of it. You all right, buddy? Yeah. Who'd you come down here with? No one. Just by yourself? Yeah. And how'd you... Did you swim out there? Yeah. Why? That far from make your back. OK. So once we have a patient, we have a duty of care to make sure they recover fully and that they can get home safe on their own. He seemed like a really nice kid. I've just got to do my best to make sure that he leaves in a good enough condition to get home on his own.